Hi, I'm Rodney Yi. We're working here on the seat of meditation. It's important to have a wonderful, easy seat so that the body doesn't disturb the quietness of the mind. Traditionally, there's four easy seats to sit in. Some of them are not so easy for us Westerners. So we're gonna start with the most simple. It's important to prop yourself up for most of us because our hips are a little bit tight. So I'm gonna use this wonderful bolster to sit on. And I encourage you to sit high enough so that it feels like you're not holding yourself up. We're gonna utilize these blocks under the knees so that it doesn't feel like the legs pull the torso forward or push the torso back. So you can see that I'm sli uh, slanting the blocks right underneath, right underneath the thighs. So this is a simple cross-legged pose. And for most of us, this is a great pose to meditate in. So I want you to feel this pose as you sit in it. And you're gonna place the hands on the knees, getting a sense of grounding the legs, the hips, the tailbone, the sense of grounding your mind and your emotions down towards the earth. The great thing about this seat though is it's actually fluid. And it's fluid easily in the hip joint. So even though it looks like when people meditate that it looks like they're completely still, Really, there's an ease in the hips, and you want to lift yourself high enough and support the knees enough so it feels like you have that fluidity in the hip joint. And I want you to do that for a moment is rock right to left, and maybe even make little circles with the pelvis in this. So even though you begin to make all the movements smaller, you still feel that ease in the hip joint itself. So that in some ways, the earth energy can travel up through the feet and the legs into the spine, into the heart, into the mind. A lot of times we will do both sides. So even though you have a comfortable side and an easy side, just for the balance of the body, we'll put the other shin in front. And again, I want you to play, experiment, don't feel like, oh, okay, this is my seat. Feel more like it's a playground of breath, of movement, until it feels like things begin to settle with very little effort. So that's one traditional pose. It's called Sukhasana, or easy pose. Another easy pose, and it's called the perfect pose, is when you put your toes into the other Achilles tendon and you spread the knees wider and from this width the ankles are stacked on top of the ankles and you're in this wonderful folded leg pose that if your knees allow this feels amazingly sturdy strong and supportive here in this pose I'd like you to turn your hands up to the ceiling and touch the index finger with the thumb. Draw the arms a little bit into the floating of the chest without shrugging the neck. There's a, a floating sense of the arm and a broadness to the chest. Here the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand are receptive. And you'll be surprised Again, there's a lot of different asanas and poses that you can do to prepare for this, but you'll be surprised once you begin to feel comfortable in this pose, how amazing it is for the seat of meditation. Another pose, and I would encourage you to sit quite high, and I like to start on two blocks at their lowest height stacked, and you just kneel in front, spread your feet on either side of the block and sit with your pelvis on the blocks. You know, even some of the modern chairs are made this way so that your shin bones are carrying the weight and you feel there's a slight fold of the legs. So you feel that grounding and yet the suspension. 
another traditional pose to meditate in. Try all these with me, feel, because I want you not only to do all these poses, but I want you to meditate in all these poses and alternate them so that the different effects of the posture will show you how they illuminate the mind in different ways. Now, one of the most traditional poses you've probably seen people do is full lotus. But again, this is usually for advanced practitioners or for people who sit on the ground all the time so that their hips are loose. Again, it's nice to be slightly elevated so the spine doesn't have any tension in the back or the front to get this feeling of almost levitating and floating. Let's go back to the first pose. Sukhasana, easy pose. Because I want to start you with an important body scan. A lot of people, they really don't have any understanding of what meditation is. And there's this stereotype of meditation being that the mind is completely quiet. That's not going to happen. And in fact, it discourages a lot of people from actually trying meditation. What I'd like you to imagine is that the mind is going to do what it's going to do. It's going to have thoughts. But you're going to treat the thoughts more like clouds in the sky, and you're not going to get infatuated with one thought or obsessed with one thought. So it's more like a kid lying on the ground watching the thoughts pass. And I'm going to give you a way to tease the mind into the body. So let's sit in Sukhasana, let's support the legs, let's support the hips until it feels like, oh, easy, easy pose. Open up the front of the chest a little bit, but without pinching the back of the chest, float the arms and let's this time have a meditative hand position with the right fingers over the left, tips of thumbs together. Take a moment, 30 seconds or so to play and feel where's true balance. And realize that true balance is not a place, but it's more of a dialogue between front and back, right and left, top and bottom. Close your eyes. Don't be stiff, but begin to be very subtle and feel like those movements are very small. And now just feel any sensation of the feet touching the ground. You don't have to change a thing. And then notice the ankle joint. You don't have to change it. Just notice, is the ankle joint free and easy? Or is it being jammed? Or is it twisted? What's the sensation in the ankle? As you're sitting there, how does the shin feel? the calf muscles, the knee, the thigh. Feel the bend in the knee. Even if you're sitting in a chair, feel, oh, my knees are bent. Just acknowledge what is. And then notice the pelvis and how it's over the thighs and how it's perched on your seat. And then observe any sensation in the lower back, any sensation in the belly, any sensation in the sides of your waist. You don't need to change anything, but notice, a lot of times when you notice there's asymmetry, the body will respond itself. So it's not like you have to fix or think in your mind, I have to fix anything. I'm just observing what is. Notice your chest. Notice how the arms are joined into the chest and the circle of the arms into the hands. Notice any feeling you have in your neck, in your head over the neck. Observe the skin of the face. Now, for a moment, get a complete picture of the body sitting not through a visualization per se, but through literally 
all the sensations of the body giving you information about the architecture of your body-mind. Slowly let your eyes open. Bring the hands, palms together over your chest. Let the sternum, the breastbone, float a little bit with the touch of your thumbs. Heavy the tailbone, float the head and feel what a simple little meditation body scan can do to unwinding the tension in the mind. Namaste.